like 100% complete confidence. There, oh, I just missed him. Holy cow. Whew. There was some weight behind that girl. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. For those of you that are new, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Right now, we've got some just spectacular weather conditions. We haven't seen a day like this in a while, and we're working our way over to a winter hot spot. Let's see what happens. Didn't get to see what that was, but he was coming up after it. <laughs> Got him! That is nothing other than a speckled trout and a keeper one at that. There's our lunch, y'all. Made my job super easy today. In the net you go. One more of these and we'll have us a good lunch. Let's get the measure board just because we wanna make sure that we're legal. My guess is about 15, 16, somewhere around there. Close your mouth, buddy. You just close your mouth. He's right at the borderline. But we got us a keeper. Going home. Great hook set, too. Here we are. That right there is called a trout thumper. Very slow rate of fall. It's a good lure, especially when it comes to trying to catch these guys in some deep water. You just let that thing sink down and bam, you get them. Here we go. Let's see if this mirrodine will work out for us. Any big mamas out there? Please come over here to the nacho cart. Leon Phelps would like to talk to you. Man, this has always been a great bait caster. I mean, it looks god awful because of the salt, but man, make no mistake, she can handle the beating. For those of y'all interested in the gear that I use, please go down into the video description below. There's a lot of links there and it'll take you to where you can see the setup. Old 18 Arius rod built specifically for kayak fishing. This is a medium power. We got our 150 size Luz bait caster. I think this is the 150 size. But yeah, all those things are down there. You can check them out. Just gonna vary my retrieve. Twitch, twitch is usually what I always start out with, and then once I don't get that bite, I just start going all kinds of crazy. Where twitch, 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 like four twitches, maybe one twitch, and then two twitches after that. Yeah, just figure out what it is that these fish want to see. This lure has such great action. I kind of love throwing it. I wish they had just a plain bone or bone with fluorescent orange. They just don't have it at my local sporting goods store, so I got the next best thing, which is this one with that fluorescent, like pastel pink color bone on the top, and it's getting, it's got the job done on a few trips already, but I still don't have like 100% complete confidence. There, oh, I just missed him. Holy cow. Whew. 
There was some weight behind that girl. Good night. But that's what I need to connect with right there to get that confidence. That's one. Nice speckled trout, and that's exactly what I expected to catch. But boy, oh boy, look at this glutton. He is a tiny little fella. Dude, I was expecting the big one. Okay, let's uh, keep you in the water. We'll try to not touch you and just let you go on your way. Continue getting bigger. Hold on, hold on, little player. All right, let's control this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want that to get inside your skin. Okay, there we go, right there. Oh, we got him really good, y'all. Okay, let's uh, just wet our hand and do this the old-fashioned way with a fish grip. <laughs> Not our hand. Tribbles kind of scare me. There we go. We'll see you, little buddy. Maybe in another year or so. I honestly thought we were going to catch nothing but big fish with that thing. Little fish got to eat, too. There we are. Nice thump right inside the hole. Oh, my gosh. That is a good one. That is a big one. I think it's bigger than my first. Oh, yes. That is a good sized trout from that little deep hole. Look at that. Right there, the trout hole. It's a good 18 incher. I'm going to say 18 or 19. Let's measure him. <laughs> I said 18 or 19. It's 16 and three quarters. I like to exaggerate a little bit. There we go. Picked it up off the bottom. As soon as I hopped it. Camera just died, but we got the emergency backup. Nice little, probably 15 inch speckled trout right here. Try to get him off. All right. Wow, we got that one through the cartilage. I'm trying to figure out how I hooked him. There we go. Hurry up and get a quick measurement. I'm thinking it's 15 inches, but we've already got more than enough food for tonight. Not bad. Not a bad catch at all. That right there. Two keepers on the flats bug. Sometimes it's the smallest lures that does the best work. And we've got that on an ultra light old 18 areas rod. Ooh, man. I got some poop on my thumb, I think. Got it on an old 18 areas rod, ultra light power, 500 series spinning reel, 5 pound braid. That is the epitome of finesse fishing. Tiny little spinning reel. This setup has caught so many fish, it's just crazy. Oh, there we go. It's fighting like a red. He's got to be. Yeah. I think it's a, a gaff top. No, it's a drum. Nice keeper size, too. 
Well, he fought, and then that was it. He just gave up. He's like, I quit at life. Buddy, chill out. I know it hurts. But it'll only hurt for a quick second if you let me do what I need to do. Alright, here we go. Back inside the water. Alright, that's it. Let's put our lure away and we're going to dispatch these two speckled trout that we're going to eat later on. Get back to the ramp and uh, we'll be back at the house for a nice little cook portion. <laughs> these guys are like, please don't. filming on the fly, just doing something a little bit different. Okay. Would you say grab it and bring it over there? No, not yet. Oh. I was just saying like if you want to... Oh. I just kicked it. If you want to pick up the camera then you can. But just learn to film on the fly. Look at that. I mean it's such a great job this fillet knife is. Mm -hmm. Speckled trout is easy to fillet though. I've got some blackened seasoning right here. I'm gonna put that on nice and thick. The first side, the second side we'll do it sparingly. I apologize for the microphone. We're using a different one right now because the batteries on the Video Mic Pro, which is what we normally fill, film with, um, the battery died. And I thought I had a spare one. Yeah, sometimes things happen. All right, so we're going to cook with half of the bag of linguine. We only got four fillets. This should be more than sufficient. Set this inside here. My pot has already been boiling. So we're going to give this a good eight, eight minutes. So we'll set the timer. There we are. And then that should be done in about eight minutes. We got this pan going and uh, we're gonna throw approximately one tablespoon of olive oil. That's usually what I normally do. Coat the bottom of the pan, get it nice and hot. And we'll come back to the olive oil a little bit later. I'm gonna cut the butter into pads of uh, one tablespoon each and uh, we'll start off with one just to blacken our fish. I like garlic, but I don't like the, uh, like biting into one particular piece where it's gonna throw like garlic overload on your palate. So that's why you always see me mincing whenever I'm cooking with it. Bring on the waterworks. Mm. Holy cow. It yeah, it got me. We'll let these guys cook for approximately one and a half minutes on each side. Okay. Time to flip our fish. We'll get this fella first since he was the first one in. butter all the way around, share it with everybody. And, uh, give this fella about a minute on this side and then we're done. Just one. I think he's done, yeah. It's already flaking apart. Here we are. I mean, I don't mind the chunk, but like, really? The 
this is about a half a cup, I'm gonna say, of chopped up bell pepper, like roughly chopped. We're gonna add about another tablespoon of olive oil. Get that fella moving around. Throw our shallots in there. Approximately a quarter of a cup. Then right here, I don't know what the garlic side, what is this, a quarter? That's probably like a, an eighth cup, maybe a tablespoon of garlic. You get these guys going. Oh yeah, they're done. Okay, let's get the roasted red peppers in there. Yep. Got our heat down to about medium. Okay, I think that is ready. We'll throw our capers in. And then saute a little bit. Now we're gonna add our linguine. Let's toss this around for a little bit. All I'm trying to do right here is mix the linguine with all of our like vegetables and seasonings. Cut the heat off because it's already done. A little bit will not go a long way with this stuff, so you gotta really lay it on thick. Unless you're using the iodized salt, that will go a long way, but you need quite a bit of sea salt. Stir this around one last time. There it is, that's, that's the finished product right there, y'all. Let's make it. Oh, Mark. Okay, never mind. That was an epic fail. I wanted to like still see the pasta and then have the fish right there. Capers and fish are really good. Mm -hmm. As far as like the taste that they're gonna offer. It's like a tangy taste mm -hmm. almost. What did I just say? It's cringy. When you <laughs> no, I was trying to say when you catch a fish, it gives me a break in the kitchen, <clears throat> but I said when you catch and cook. And cook. I didn't mean to say that. I was trying to say when you catch a fish. I'm gonna save some for the boys. Yeah, probably enough for them yeah. to eat. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I apologize, but I was hungry. The wife was definitely hungry as well. And uh, we just wanna thank each and every one of y'all for tagging along on our adventure. For those of you that enjoy the cook portion, um, thank you so much for sticking around this far into the video. I do highly, recommend that you use olive oil whenever you're sauteing pasta because vegetable corn canola peanut all of those i don't think it's going to go well with something like this um, plus the olive oil is a little bit more healthier as well but uh, yeah thank you so much this dish is phenomenal there's no recipe i apologize it's just something that we throw together and uh, it turned out really good but uh, if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to click that thumbs up button for those of you interested in the gear that we were using today in the fish portion, uh, that's gonna be linked in my video description down below. Uh, if you wanna know about any of the items that we have in the kitchen, let me know by way of making a comment 
and uh, we'll start listing some of those things if you're curious. But uh, thank you so much. We sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to help to support the channel, you can do so by clicking that subscribe button. And until next time, Taiwan is here.